We hop in, you see the full digital cluster, which then displays the welcome sequence. You got the mountains and those red lines that are continuing across on the center screen as it fades in and forms the GMC logo, AT4. That's a nice touch. We are spending a week living with the new GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X, and I'm quite excited to see what this premium, more off-road focused pickup truck is like. This exterior paint color is called Cayenne Red Tent Coat, and it looks really nice. The refreshed front end, the big GMC lettering here. We've got the AT4X badging, which I'll talk more about what this new trim is supposed to be. The DRL is turned on, and it still has a 6.2 liter V8 that's paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It's very nice and clean because I just picked it up yesterday. Cayenne red tent coat looks really nice when the sun hits it. The new Sierra 1500. All right, this will be a fun week. Keep the sentry. A couple months ago, I was actually supposed to fly out to San Diego for the media drive for the new Sierra, but unfortunately I got sick and there was off-roading with the AT4X at that event. This week, we aren't going to be doing that. It's going to be real world on the streets, driving, living with the AT4X to see what it's like. I'm quite excited. I picked this up yesterday night when I flew back in from Europe and drove home. My first impressions were this is a very premium, very nice interior, very nice truck. So we'll see what it's like with a whole week living with it. I have wireless CarPlay already hooked up and running. And we also have a wireless charging pad right here. I'm going to put my phone in there. We have all the climate control buttons here. I've got my cooled seat going bunch of buttons here which we'll go over this is actually the same as the ZR2 and the Hummer EV I believe it looks exactly the same it's nice and then this also has massage seats press the button down there that's always very nice a nice easy drive in the work in the AT4X I gotta head in I haven't been in the office for a week because I was traveling abroad so a lot to catch up on but we are taking this truck downtown for dinner with a good friend of mine so we'll spend more time later today with the Sierra 1500 AT4X had a nice workout after work and a 7 p.m. coffee because I am fighting jet lag but we have to head downtown now for dinner in the AT4X so the AT4X does not get super cruise GM's really really, really cool hands-free driving system on a supported highway. I've experienced that in the GMC Hummer EV, the Escalade V, the regular Escalade. You can get it in the Denali Ultimate trim, so the top tier luxury one, but because this one is the more off-road focused one, no Super Cruise, which is okay. I mean, get the Denali Ultimate if you want the off, uh, if you want Super Cruise. Off-roading, get the AT4X. This is more capable than the AT4. I've got a lot of numbers in my head that I'll try to remember all of them. Let's talk about the screens first. So this is the upgraded 13.4 inch infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless. It's got built-in Google. It's got the cameras, which are really nice. So this is a very nice new touch screen in the middle, 13.4 inches. So this is a 12.3 inch digital reconfigurable cluster. Very nice graphics on it, nice display. We also have a huge 15 inch heads up display. That's also very nice. So the screens and technology are absolutely plentiful inside the new GMC Sierra. And then down here we have physical buttons for your climate, which is also nice. Not hidden behind a bunch of touch screens and scrolly menus and things like that. So you got your climate there and then another row of toggle buttons for things like the locking differentials, park assist, things, all these controls there is quite nice. Big storage space, cup holders, wireless charger, trailer sway, transmission selector, center console, and that wraps up a quick overview of this part of the interior. GMC also really wants you to know this is the AT4X trim because we have a badge there, a badge there, there's a badge on a door sill, so badge there, badge there. <laughs> And with that, let's go. I really like how CarPlay doesn't take up the entire screen. So you have this screen on the right. It can toggle through. You get trailer control if you want. That's my iPhone. Also built in Google Maps there. But I'm running CarPlay here, wireless, which is definitely nifty. Got a just under hour drive. Looks like traffic is improving slightly. We'll talk more about driving impressions a bit more. This also has the Multimatic DSSV spool valve damper. It's just like the Silverado ZR2 that we spent some time with. We took that one off-roading. This one we are doing on-roading, although sometimes the streets of Chicago and the Midwest feel like you're off-roading because it's all potholes. Little paddle shifters here. Steering wheel's 
pretty basic. I think I've seen this in a lot of GM family vehicles in the truck SUV segment here. It's a very nice day today. In terms of some of the tech specs, we'll get those out of the way. I'll go more in depth in the actual review, so make sure you watch the technical full vehicle review for the AT4X. But 6.2 liter V8 makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission, two-speed transfer case, four-wheel drive obviously, front and rear locking differentials, which is exclusive to the segment, just like the Silverado ZR2. Now this is more off-road focused, but it's not like Raptor or TRX level. That's not the point. This is a premium or luxurious off-road truck experience, and it absolutely accomplishes that. Like I've got my side seats going right now. Departure and approach angles are all right, a little bit more ride height compared to uh, suspension travel compared to the regular AT4 and obviously the regular GMC Sierra. What else am I missing? 10 speed automatic, it can tow, it's got a pretty good payload, not matching the full, like regular GMC Sierras. There are ones that can tow more, but because it's off road with the suspension and things like that, it can't quite have the max amount of towing, but it can pull a trailer or a small boat or things like that. If you get the Sierra Denali Ultimate with Super Cruise, it has Super Cruise with trailering, so you can have hands-free trailering on the highway, which I wish I could have experienced. I unfortunately was sick, so I couldn't go to the media drive, but that sounded really awesome. I was talking to Chad uh, from the GMC team, and he's like, we can do that. And I was like, what? Pretty impressive. So no Super Cruise, hopefully traffic isn't bad, but so far these DSSV dampers do a pretty good job of road surfaces. There's not a ton of uh, body motion or things like that. They ride pretty comfortably. And also this is quite well isolated from the road in terms of road noise and wind noise and things like that. So it's definitely a premium luxury truck experience. Not a bad drive, a little bit of traffic, but this thing was quite nice on the freeway coming into downtown Chicago. Just had my massage seats going. Sound system is pretty good. Cooled seats going. It's a top start, just turn the engine back on. All right, we're gonna be getting some dinner at this Peruvian place that I'm quite excited for. And we'll pick this back up later. Good morning. We're gonna take the Sierra out and then later we're swapping back for the Shelby because I need to drive that for something. But it's nice and sunny, so let's take a quick look at the exterior of the Refresh Sierra. We have updated headlights here with that C-shaped DRL. It looks really cool. AT4X badge here. The lower fascia is blacked out. We have the red tow hooks there. And then coming around the side, we've got more off-road focused tires, 18 inch black wheels. And then it's easier to see in the back, but it has the Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers, which you can see the gold poking out right there with the Multimatic logo. Those, the ZR2 also has, the Silverado ZR2, and they're pretty awesome. GM integrated bumper step here for getting in. The very multi-function tailgate, which you can open this top part here and press this here and then open it out as a step there so the very very much multi-function tailgate kicker sound system control I think back here too uh, power USB charger and aux so yeah oh wow that's the oh wow I didn't know they had that sound system integrated into the tailgate that's like a nice tailgating party piece and then we get folded back up There we go. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, actually. Big GMC badge out back. Sierra lettering, all centered. AT4X. They added the X. It's above the AT4. It can tow a decent amount, like I mentioned. It's got bed liner. And the red paint. There's a couple new extra cost paint options that are also really nice, but this, this red looks quite nice, too. I am a fan, and I like how it ties in all the red accents. And the interior also has, like I mentioned, a bunch of AT4X badges. Some red stitching accents on the seat. Textured leather, white stitching, white piping. We also have on the door that same textured leather pattern. It's all pretty nice. Cross stitching here, Bose sound system, GMC AT4X. This one has the fixed side steps. They don't deploy, they're like rock rails there. And I had some coworkers trying to climb in yesterday and they were complaining a little bit. I think it makes more sense in the off-road package there, but it definitely is a little more challenging climbing in because it's a tall truck and a very spacious rear cabin, rear seats. Just got my duffel bag there, my gym bag, my backpack. Also have a little secret storage compartment inside the seats, but that same red stitching, white stitching, the white piping there is echoed across. And it's just very spacious. Full-size modern truck, so massive. Some of the touches on this interior show it's a more premium luxury truck. For example, the grab handles here, they're not just regular exposed plastic. They've got the stitched leather cover on them. Also, we have a suede headliner, which is very nice. 
across the entire interior. This is definitely a big truck and the overhead view surround view cameras are very, very handy. We also have top down view of the front, which makes the camera look kind of funny there. We've got the front wheels. We have a view down by the trailer hitch too. So these are all very, very, oh, those are the rear ones. Quality is not quite as great on those, but the overhead view is nice and clear. Looks like a regular backup camera. Also trailer, I believe this has a technology where if you add cameras to your trailer, you can like make the trailer transparent with the cameras. Bed view, there's a lot of them. Running some errands in the AT4X. Got my Starbucks, got a haircut. We're gonna head home and I'm gonna film the full review of this truck. It is quite big, so parking lots sometimes can be challenging. I had to do a three-point turn to get out of the parking spot a couple minutes ago, but it's still quite nice. I've got the cool seats going, massage seats going, AC running. It's nice and warm today after a rainy day yesterday. Another day with the GMC AT4X. So this does have a power sunroof. You slide the actual cover back, and then we can slide it back if we wanted to. Go ahead and close that. Or it can also tilt. And this also has the power rear window which we can open. I'm also quite liking this new infotainment screen here with wireless CarPlay, along with the physical buttons down here for your climate system. And overall, the materials and interior are quite nice. Yes, some of the stuff is from the GM parts bin, but like, these seats are pretty comfortable, the stitching is cool, got the AT4X badges, plenty of storage, got the upper thing there. The center console also is pretty spacious. A lot of ports, outlets, USB, USB-C, the wireless charging pad is right there. The steering wheel is the same as you will find in pretty much everything in this family of vehicle. Same thing with a lot of these controls and buttons. So some stuff is definitely GM parts been special, but overall quite a nice interior, especially for a truck. I mean, these modern trucks are so fantastic now. Here's the window sticker for this 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. It's cayenne red tint coat over Obsidian Rush, 6.2 liter V8, 10 speed automatic transmission. It doesn't have a ton of standalone options because it's pretty well optioned already as a standard AT4X as one of the upper tier trims. 73,300 and we have the rocker protection, which is a dealer installed option, the paint $645 for a total option price of $76,790. A lot of stuff is standard. So from the mechanical performance standpoint, things like the two-speed transfer case, the off-road suspension with the DSSV damper, skid plates, hill descent control, the tires, and so forth. Fuel economy, 14 city, 18 highway, 16 combined, which is about right for a big truck with a V8. So just under $77,000 as option. Wrapping up my week living with the GMC Sierra 1500. I did 358 miles, average 16.9 MPG, a pretty nice split of freeway and regular city driving. So sounds about right. This is a very, very nice truck. It has all the tech and luxury features. I do enjoy having massage seats, digital rear view mirror, a new infotainment system, and some off-road credentials. Over time, I did start noticing a little bit more, especially driving without music, playing the noise from the off-road tires a little bit there, but it's still pretty acceptable. I wish I could have taken this off-road. It would have been really cool to explore the capabilities of it, but I know it's got a lot of the hardware, the tech capabilities too, with the like the terrain mode and things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, living with the GMC Sierra. Make sure you also check out my full review. Thanks for watching.